Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Let's, let's see who's here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pull out my YouTube chat. Uh oh, I didn't either. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to do it right now. It should take me just one quick second. One of my haters was here. I've got one thumbs down. Hello, hater. Wait. I hope you leave. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. Hey, Kyle. And now okay. we wait for it to start. Blah, 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 blah. It's Jeez. starting. Right? Hi, Shopaholly. Hey, oh, Shopaholly. I love their auctions. Thank you, sweetheart. Aww, thank Mwah. you. Yeah. Christy S. Hello. Welcome in. Christine Rose. Christine. Hello, hey, Christine. Christine. Hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. Let's have some fun tonight. All right, Jim. Jim was worried about his uh, wrench last time he was around. You had a wrench, Jim. I don't know. I think you lost it and then I gave it to you, but I didn't take it away. So you either YouTube did it or you somehow had a different device. It happens. Device. Yeah. Cricket. Hello, awesome hey, people in the chat. Hello, Miss Donatella and Miss T. Hello, Miss Cricket. Right, girl. Ooh, what was that? It was my phone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where's my phone? My phone's right here in front of me. Let me make sure it's muted. Maybe I'll this, make sure it's muted. Maybe, maybe this would be a good time for you to check to see if yours is muted. That's just Just, that. just saying. Just said that. Just saying. Shriker, thank you for being here. James Cisco. Ooh, James has a new picture. Oh, he took a whole Pretty different perspective pretty. of the sky. Pretty. I nice. like it. I like it, James. Nice, nice, nice choose. Nice cho choice. Nice choice. Let's see who else is in here. Jim G. Hey, Jim G. T's cousin. I know. It's so funny. Every time I see him, he looks like my cousin Jim. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know your cousin Jim, but every time I see him, it looks just like your cousin Jim. It definitely does. I, I could show you a picture. It's like spitting image. Why does it say, see where it says on the very bottom of the screen? I've never noticed that before. You see it? Yeah. It's a I never, noticed it. I never saw it, noticed that before either. How did that get there? I have no idea. That's very strange. Yeah. How'd that happen? I don't know. Maybe you have to change your background. Huh. I've never noticed it before out of all these times that I've been. Uh, I never did. Huh, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, she did make this background. So maybe she put that there. I just noticed it for the first time. I never noticed it before. Hello, Maria Maria International. Maria Maria. Hello, Lost City Treasures. Hey, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Steve, hello. Hey, Steve. Are we on the right channel, Shriker? Is everybody confused tonight? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. Dora, hello, sweetheart. Hi, Dora. And Mary Ness. Hi, Donna T. Everyone, Donna, the girls found perfect dresses. Fits their personalities, right? Oh, you know? good, yeah. Shell UK, hello. Hey, Shell. I want to I thank everybody. Hi, William. Hey, William. I want to I thank everybody who came out shopping with us this afternoon. Thank you so much. That was so much fun, and it was so awesome to have the input from everyone. KP, hello. How Hi, are Kate. you? Kristen, how are you, hon? Hey, Steven. Hey, hello, Kristen. hello. Let's see who else is here. Ozma. Hey, Ozma. 
Hi, y'all. Congratulations on your soon-to-be Southerner status tea. I'm going to be a South Carolinian. I have to get used to saying that. <laughs> She's going to be a debutante. Who? You. <laughs> Trucker T. She's going to be a debutante. Hi, Harley. He's so thrifting. You're on the wrong side. <laughs> Boom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Jen Bennett. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Jen. Ginger Ann. Hello. Hi, Ginger Ann. Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly. Good to see you. Carrie. Linda. Hello, hello. Oh. I hope you had time to eat. I didn't. I haven't eaten. Hey, Lana. I know. I haven't hey, eaten. Lana. Virginia, Donna, you guys are on the wrong side again. All right. Nikki, <laughs> Nikki. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweet girl. Nose begin. Buy items in Donna's eBay store. I have no items in my eBay <laughs> store to buy. I have like 36 things in there. I have nothing. I have nothing. But thank you for dropping that link. Somebody dropped my second store. I've got items. Well, I've got items in both. But the yes, second store. Yes, go support T. Go support T. She's got a ton store of items. Second store for sure. Oh, and, and I have to change my settings back. I think I have mine still out on five-day turn time. I have nothing in my store. I bring it all to you guys. I don't post on my store. I bring it all to you guys. Hello, Bill. Diane. Hey, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Harry with the three ninety nine dollars super sticker. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thanks, Thank you. Carrie. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Cool Ranch Dorito. Hello. Moses. Hello, Moses. Hey, Richard. Okay. Okay. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Did I get everybody? I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I missed anybody, there's Christine. Christine, where have you been? Hey, You're coming Christine. in late. I'm joking. <laughs> Stitch it. It was great to see the prom shopping experience last time I did that was 1999. Too, and uh, it was for a tough deal. <laughs> no, what am I, I love, saying? No, it wasn't 1999. That was the year my, well, no, 98. Uh, James, don't be fresh, James. Do not be fresh. I'm going to mix <laughs> in some other things too. Frenchie! Hey, Frenchie. Hello, Frenchie. I love your new profile picture, Frenchie. Hey, Dale. Donna, was that shopping in the Gardens Mall? It was. It was the Gardens Mall, which is like literally like right behind my house. So I only had to drive like three miles away. That was it. Enjoyed shopping with you and the girls this afternoon. Thank you, guys. I, I'm so Saxton. Saxton. Hey, Rummage Raiders. She's going to be doing some um, thrifting um, um content on her new channel so you guys go subscribe and and um definitely support our friend saxton cole that's her new channel dale um, says i love that place the flipping sports guy hello nice profile hey. picture good to meet Ooh. you nice shirt and hat the flipping sports guy oh. you missed all my yankee stuff this af this afternoon or this morning oh. but i might have more i got a bunch of yankee stuff coming Right, I do. Yeah, she yeah. does. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, I got a bunch of signed Yankee stuff, like photographs. I have no idea what I have. Do you have any idea what I have? <laughs> no, but it's good stuff. <laughs> it is. I oh, sent you a picture. I I'm said, like, buy it. Get it. I know. <laughs> someone, someone approached me and said, are you interested in this collection of all Yankee stuff? And I was like, let me get back to you. So, of course, I... I call. I had my people call. I had my people call her people. Right. I called T. I'm like T. Should I buy this? She's like, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Just buy it. I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. So I'll be getting that tomorrow, you guys, and bringing it this week. Um. Never had to buy a prom dress. My Nana was a master seamstress. She let me design what I wanted and loved her so much. That's awesome. That is so awesome. 
Love that. Love it. Love it. That is so awesome. No, I really lucked out. I had one girl that spent, one daughter that spent way too much and one daughter that spent way too little. So if you divide that between the two, I think I did good, right? I think I think I did mm -hmm. really, really good. And we got everything done in one day, which was great. We're just going to get Chesy her shoes. And then, you know, I'm going to um, let Angelina pick through my jewelry. And yes, Frenchie, I, Frenchie sent me a picture. She went prom. Uh, shopping with her daughter today too. Um, Frenchie, I went live and took everybody with me. I I said to T, I was so shocked how many men went dress shopping with us today. Yes, we had a lot of the guys in the chat. Know, we had a lot of guys in the chat. It was really, really funny. I thought maybe, you know, going live, I'd get, you know, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 people in the chat to go prom gown shopping and I looked at one point and there was like 58 60 people in the chat I was like oh my gosh and I'm looking at the it was all a bunch of men making comments it was really awesome those were great dresses they all got yeah they they and then I took and then I took everybody into Victoria's Secret <laughs> for Jesse to get a strapless bra to go with her gown and um, she tried it on with her gown and thumbs up. It's perfect. So we're good to go on that. We don't have to return that. It's all good. We're just going to find shoes for Chessie. And we are going to be ready for prom night, Saturday night. And you guys are all coming. So you're all going to a prom. It's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. The place that we're having the prom at is so beautiful. These kids are so blessed. So blessed that... Um, Caesar's parents are opening it up. Yeah, it was. It was so much fun. We had fun. At first, I thought it was kind of weird. My girls are hams. They're like, I, you were actually there when I said to my daughter when she came downstairs. I'm like, Bo, I'm thinking about going live on YouTube when we go dress shopping. She goes, so? <laughs> Right. Was, we were still like in there was after this morning's auction and I looked at T and I was like, and she goes, and like, mm -hmm. like it was okay. just normal, you know, it was it's just normal. normal. It's normal. Yeah. They love it. They love it. They were the secret models, right? Yeah, no, I would love to get them into modeling. I'd love to get them both into doing like, um, like sportswear modeling because they're both so beautiful and have like amazing athletic bodies. So um, it's just one of those things, you know, you got to reach out unless they're found, like, you know, she's playing on the beach. Sometimes a scout can find them and approach them, but um, you really got to, you really got to like submit like photographs and like a little, you know, biography and stuff. But I'm sure that some sportswear company will pick up if, not both of them, at least one of them, because they're both just um, so beautiful. It's Does raindrops that... in the chat. Raindrops, Rain if you're here. So does that mean that Victoria's Secret is out? No, Victoria's Secret is in. We got our her bra at Victoria's Secret. It was good. It was fun to shout for pawn dresses with you and the girls, Don. It's been 20 years. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that. Like, I had no idea that you guys would have that much enjoyment out of it. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. And you know I love to take you on my on my adventures and my journeys. Um, and I, and I, I was saying at the end of the video, I, I really honestly, I do it for the girls so that they can look back at it. Because I'm hoping YouTube will be around forever. Um, so that they can look back at it and and watch it. You know, God forbid something could happen to me tomorrow, you know, and then they'll have all that footage that they can watch. Um, but I also do it for you guys too. For those of you that are like stuck in the house and, or, you know, in the middle of the country where you don't get to experience things like the garden mall, like the gardens mall is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. I really wanted to show you more of it until the security guard put an end to that. He totally put an end to that. It's Richard. <laughs> He's waiting for KFC to sponsor him. <laughs> and Steve says it was interesting. He, he, he learned something. He didn't know JC Penney's was gone. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, in my video, in my, um, 
my thrift shop video, when the JC Penney's that was here locally went out of business, the person who was tearing down the building was friends with someone who knew about my charity store. And they called me and they said, the building's being torn down. The electricity's being cut tomorrow. The building's being torn down like the next day. Come and take whatever you want. And I went in there and I took, oh my gosh, I, I can't tell you how many mannequins. We went with a big, huge U-Haul truck. And I have pictures of all this. I only put two pictures in the video that I did. But it was just another one of those adventures that I had during the store when I say I could, I could make another video of 80 minutes, no problem. I took tons of pictures that day. We filled an entire box truck with mannequins, mannequins and bags and boxes and just everything that they left behind before the building was being torn down. And I had all the mannequins lined up in the front of the store. And I had, I think I, I think I sold them for like $20, $25, maybe you pick. There was male ones, female ones, kids ones. It was crazy and people were buying them like crazy because mannequins are expensive and i sold well they're saying in the chat jc penny's still around just not in florida well it's not in new york anymore either that i know of yeah no so they, they really out. downsized for sure they pulled out of florida actually where they were um is now they probably couldn't renew their lease because where JC Penney was, where they tore it down, they put a huge, enormous outlet mall there, like a brand new one. Osma so. says they have them in Dallas, Fort Worth, not in New Hampshire. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we have, I don't know, I would have to look for sure, but I don't think there's a lot here anymore, if at all. Oh, James says they have them on the West Coast of Florida. Oh, huh? okay. Well, Maybe they just pulled out of here because they were putting up this big outlet strip, you know, outlet mall. Right. Yeah. Well, they pulled out by us. I mean, literally, I could practically walk to one of our malls and it's not there anymore. I, our, our I think, was, I think they, they might have like downsized big time. I really think they downsized big time. Thank you, Shriker. Shriker's dropping um, specials, you guys, in case. Thanks, um, Shriker. Anybody, wants to um tea has specials too i still have my mystery plush lot that i'm featuring for the weekend um tomorrow it will be gone um so if anybody wants to take advantage of that um after tonight that's it i'm not going to be doing that special anymore um there's two within 20 miles of me wow james that's crazy all right you guys should we have an auction let's have an auction Let's have an auction. Since you're my guest tonight, I'm going to have you go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tea special, 100 pieces of dance clothes, $100. You guys take advantage of this. She's going to show some. She's going to show some of the pieces. Um, some of them, you get some of the tutus right there. Yeah, I'm gonna, the tutu ones are not included in that special, but I'm going to show that. In fact, I'll do that as my first lot. This is this is a really a little more special, but I'll include some of the other dance clothes in here too as well, and I'll show them just so you guys get an idea. But James, James is like Donna wants to get dinner. I haven't had dinner yet, but I, I don't have anything really ready to cook. So, so you're going to start this bidding at what? I don't know. Let's just start it. Somebody throw something out. So these are going to be um, two twos, a lot of them. Some of them are going to be leotards. And then when I get to some of the regular dance clothes, those are the pieces I'll show you that I'm doing um, 100 for 100. But these um, these are a little different. All are new with tags. Most of them have tags. You may find one or two without tags, but most of them have tags. Um, Christine B's in the house. Hello, Christine B. Hey, Christine. Hi, honey. Thanks again, Christine, for your generosity. Yes, that was awesome, Christine. Christine helped with the dress. That was so nice. So nice. This is a set of like... Um... Hi, Sandy Kirk. 
really cute little oh leg warmers leg warmers yeah really cute leg warmers for the ballerina dancers the ballerinas yep those are so cute and oh and a pair of ballet shoes my dance shoe nice and then again like i said there'll be some leotards and some tutus A lot of them are all the same size, um, a 6X7, six 6X7. Seven, six seven. All right, so can I ask something? No. So what if people in the chat, what if they don't, I know you want to sell the whole kit and caboodle, mm -hmm. okay? It's going to cost you $7 to ship them, okay? Well, it depends on where it's going. It could cost me thirteen twenty-five too. Oh, 1320. All right. So based it on 1325. So if somebody had a grandchild or a granddaughter or grandchildren or neighbor or something, do you want to offer a special? Is this the last of the tutus? Uh, the last of the tutus, not the last of the dance clothes. But these are the last of the tutus. Yeah, I mean, I was going to do them as a one-off, but I just want to get rid of them. No, I know. Like, but okay, so so let's just think about this for a minute. If If they wanted to buy like... It, to cover your shipping, if they wanted to buy, put a price on if you were to put, say, six of them in a lot. If they wanted to buy six, like six different styles or six different colors, is that too much work? Well, as long as there are six, seven, because that's the only size I have and that I would have six of. Okay, so size six, seven, six pieces. You'll try to do six different pieces. Do you want to offer them up for six pieces, uh, say $40? Yeah, that's fine. $40? I do them for 30. I do that, for 30. You want to do them for 30? I do them for 30, yeah. Thirty dollars. But then it's gonna be my choice because I'm not gonna stand here and say, okay, you want this one? Okay. Or, or do you want this one? I can't. I, I okay. Can't. No, it's going to be her choice. They're all size six, 30. Look at these, you guys. They're beautiful. Okay. Stitch it. Uh, so she's saying she'll take 50 pieces for $50, but that's going to be the other ones, not these. Yeah, these, not these. Not, not these. these. These are going to be six pieces for $30 shipped, you guys. That is a phenomenal deal. My girls ran around with tutus on everywhere we went. To the supermarket, they slept in them, they played outside with them. Little girls love tutus. So if you have grandchildren, nieces, nephews, think of Christmas. I know we're going into, into the summer, but look at how cute these are. But stitch it, she can do she can do 50 pieces for $50. I'll do 50 of the regular dance. Ones. Of the, the other regular dance ones, no problem. Yeah, but these are phenomenal. These are so cute. Nope, she doesn't want the others. She wants these. Yeah, I don't, and I don't even know if I have fifty per se of these anyway. But no, I these are these are these I'd rather not. Okay. If I can get much more for them for them. Hi, Susan. Thanks for coming in, honey. Thank you for the copy today. At That's why I just wanted to do all of these, just starting pinning. Because <laughs> now I'm going to have so many left. Because nobody Okay, wants well, no one's going. Pictures. No one's, yeah. So, hey, Disney Nate, no one's going for the six. So cancel that. I just thought maybe we could try to sell some, you know, 30, you know, $30 lots, six pieces, but no one's going for it. So, um, Amy says that she bought some and they fit her daughter perfectly. So what's the bid on these? Put throw out a bid, oh, stitch it. Throw out a bid. Look at they're so beautiful. This one might be a larger size. There may be a few large. No, actually, it's not. It's also a six seven.
This one's a four five. So this is like one that's a little bit smaller. But for the most part, they're all a six seven. For the most part, that's what almost everyone is. This one's got like a around the neck. And this is just a skirt, like a tutu skirt. Put that on a, and I have a bunch of those too I'm going to show. Leotard, like you put, you could put it around this leotard. It's got roses with the roses in the back. Another leotard. It's actually almost like a short leotard. This is more purple. It's showing blue, or at least it's showing blue on my screen. I don't know what's showing on yours, but it's actually purple. Some more leotards here. another uh another philly philly skirts got roses on it gotta probably just hang it out a little bit because they've been in this box <laughs> just stretch the tool a little bit Some of these leotards might be a little bit larger. This one seems larger. Yeah, it's a girl's medium on this one. Yeah, this is a pretty large leotard here. This one is a medium as well. For the larger dancer. For the larger dancer. Here's another skirt. All right, let's count. We got a one. We got a two. We got a three. And four. And five. And six. And seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, that's just a piece of fuzz, 22, <clears throat> 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, Looks just like a top 41 and I'll make it a total of 50 pieces and I'll add the regular dance pieces um, I don't think I don't know if I have any up here um, these are cheer and kick line um, but it, it'll be similar like this except it'll say dance on it like little shorts um, and and shirts that say they'll just say dance on them like instead of saying skater, it'll say dance on it. Because I don't think I have any of those dance ones. Oh, here's another leotard. I'll throw that in too. So you get 50 total pieces in here. 42 of what you've seen and then the rest in the dance stuff. Yeah, I don't have any more. Um, this is all cheer and gym. Cheer and Jimmy, I think this is skater. Yeah, so it'll it'll say dance on it. All, all those, so it'll be eight more pieces, fifty total, and they'll say dance on them. Wait, who is the real stitch here? <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, what do we have? We have Stitch It in for a Benji. Thank you. Frenchie's in for all oh, Frenchie's bidding. That's why she's saying who's the real Stitch. Oh my God, so funny. <clears throat> all right, so we have 50 pieces, 42 of which you saw here. I'll throw in eight others that are branded dance on them. Um, I'll throw 10 more pieces in if we hit 120. 
Thank you, guys. I wish I had a girl. All I have is a two and a half year old boy and another on the way. Congratulations, William. All right, Christy S is in for one, one twenty. That means I'm adding ten more pieces. <laughs> All right, so it's 60 total. Thank you, guys. Shanna Banana, I think you bought dance stuff from me, too, didn't you? Frenchie's in for 130. Thank you. Yes, it definitely, 100%, Saxton. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even going to bring any more. I was just going to bring them to the to the flea market but three times now in the last six weeks ours got rained out and i just want somebody else to take advantage now literally you guys you know lot them up especially of same sizes you guys you guys will make good bank on it christy s is in for 140. right that's true too susan 150 to frenchy thank you guys all right, 10 more, 70 pieces we're at. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, I think they are. It's all right, William, I have two boys too, it's all good. Boys are good. I mean, it's nice for the girly stuff, but I know it does stink. It's like every Sunday it's been, a, it's, it's, no, it's not next week. It's every other Sunday. Thanks guys. 111 here. Awesome. 160 to Christy. Thank you guys. <coughs> I had two boys. It's all good. It's all right. No worries. They'll bring girls home. <laughs> One, 170 now to Frenchie. And it didn't even rain that bad like they predicted today. But once we commit, we commit. So we didn't commit. Last two ones definitely was canceled. I don't know if they landed up canceling today or not. 180 now to Christy. Thank you guys. All right. Well, you guys are still bidding. I'm going to run and get the other dance just so you guys can see what the difference is. All right, so we were we originally had 42 pieces in here, and I said I was going to make it 50, 60, and then 70, right? So I went in the other room, and I found a few more of these. So definitely you're going to get these. That's a nice long – didn't realize I had all these Thule skirts in there. So they're perfect for the leotards. And a, a couple of more leotards, too. All right. So then the regular dance stuff is stuff like this. It's shorts like this, different different bling on all of them. And then like 
pants that are, some of them say dance, some of them say dancer, some of them are short, some of them are long like these. These are all different sizes. And that's the stuff. Well, I'm going to put them in here to make up the difference. Um, we're at 220 now, so we're going to make another 10 on that. So right now we've got 80 pieces I'm going to toss in here um, for you guys at least. And then these are the other dance. You'll get some of these as well. But just so you guys know, this other dance stuff is just branded dance. It's not frilly, frilly like the, like the whatever. And this is the stuff that I'm selling 100 for 100. So just so you guys know. All right, and we're up to 80 pieces, and we have Christy at 2.30 now. Thank you, guys. 2.40 from Frenchie. Thank you, guys. What doesn't look a tutu? <laughs> Who doesn't like a tutu, right, Susan? Who doesn't like a tutu? 2.50 from Christy S. Thank you, Christy. 50, 60, 70. We said 80. Yeah, let's make it a hundred. Let's make it a hundred. I'm happy with the number. We'll make it a hundred. A hundred pieces. And I do. And if I do find, I don't know if I have any more of the um, the two twos or the or the you know the tool ones. Yeah. See, like this one. This is what the dance ones will look like, except this says gymnast. I'm going to do a lot at some point with gymnast and with cheer and skater because I have some of that stuff too. But for right now, we're at, I know, Jill, it really would, 100%. I haven't had the chance, and now i got to move. So everything's got to move. Everything's got to go. <laughs> Frenchie's in for 280. Thank you, ladies. Three hundred. Thank you, Christy S. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Blow it out of here. Exactly, Shriker. <laughs> Three ten from Frenchie. Thank you, ladies. Sale, 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 sale. Thanks, James. Three twenty from Christy. Frenchie's in for perfect time of year to sell them too, right, Chris? How are you tonight, Christopher? Nice to see you. 350 from Christy. Thank you. <laughs> 360. You guys are going to force me to throw some more stuff in here. <laughs> Hello, Feza. Welcome. All right, you guys just forced me to throw another 20 pieces in there. 120. We'll make it 120 pieces. I actually uh, think I have a dance sweatshirt I can include in that 120. So you definitely get a dance sweatshirt. 380 from Frenchie. I wish I had more of those sweatshirts really were nice. A lot of you bought the sweatshirts. They were nice too. Christy's in for four Benjamins. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, honey. Boom. You guys will do well on them though. 410 from Frenchie. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Appreciate it. 
Four twenty from Christy. What are we up to? One hundred and twenty pieces. Hmm. What is the topic? The topic is auction. Four thirty from Frenchie. I'm gonna run in and uh, just double check. I know I have one sweatshirt. Just so you guys know, you're getting at least one with that. Actually, there's two. I think there's two here. And this is what the sweatshirts, well, this is what one of them looks like. This is a really nice one. It's a hoodie. I think they're Gildan. I'm pretty sure, yep. They're Gildan Heavy Blends on the sweatshirt. And it's got this really pretty logo in here. And this really nice heart on the back uh, that says dance on the logo. And dance actually on the back as well. It's like a distressed look on that so make sure you get that sweatshirt and this sweatshirt this one is a gray one that says dance on it and that's how a lot of the clothes are too um for example i found one see like shorts that'll say dancer uh another pair of shorts that say dancer and uh, again all new with tags all new with tags here's another one Oh, this one says tumble, but they, they'll say dance on them. And I found another leotard that says dance on it. So, again, we're up to, what, 120, 125 pieces. 125 pieces. With at least those two sweatshirts, with all those tutus, all that frilly stuff any other frilly stuff I find, and then I'll make it up with the, um, the dance, branded dance clothes. 125 pieces. All right, Frenchie's at 460. We're going to call it to Frenchie. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. Christy, I still have that other dance if you're interested, if you want to, just a lot of the 100 pieces for 100 on the, just the plain, plain Jane, this, this stuff, if you're interested. Again, it's, you know, it's all new with tags. It's just, you know, simple stuff. It's not all that frilly, tutu-y stuff. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Frenchie. Thank you, Christy. Yes. Thank you guys for putting up a nice fight. I appreciate it. Aw. You're welcome. All right. Is there any takers for 100 pieces? Any takers? Again, not like that stuff. No sweatshirts, no frilly stuff. But again, just stuff that's branded and new with tags. Just stuff that's branded like this. 100 pieces. This one actually isn't branded at all. I don't know why. but <laughs> And so some of them say dance. Some of them say dancer. Um, some of them have like a blingy thing like that. Not the gymnast one, not the tumble one. They'll all say dance, but something like that. So if anybody is interested in, in 100 pieces of those, let me um, let me know on that. All right. Hey, Thelma. Hi, honey. Hey, Donna. Yes, ma'am. Can I clean my desk off while you go? <laughs> yes. I just piled this stuff up high and buried everything. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go. All right, go. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. All right, so... I'm going to start with this American West jewelry. It comes with this little pouch and it comes with the history 
of American West Jewelry. And I'll show you what I'm going to show you. Let me clean off my Donna Loop. This is that if you watched the truck unboxing, I found this. Um, I'm going to look and make sure that it is silver. So give me one second. See if I can find a marking on it. It certainly looks like silver. Um, sorry, I didn't have time to check ahead of time, you guys. So bear with me. I want to make sure I'm selling you what I think I'm selling you. Um, okay, here's Andrea's loop. Hold on. Um, I don't see a marking. Does anybody know if this company makes silver and if it's marked? I don't see a marking. Anybody, anybody, anybody help me out with us? Yeah, I don't see a marking, you guys. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. They make a lot of silver. Okay, maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot. I'm trying to find it, and I'm not finding it. So, let's just sell it and say that it's silver, and you guys find where it's marked, because I can't find it. I'll show it to you. It's beautiful. I don't know where to look for the mark. I'm sorry. Which we started at. Yes, they do both. Mm, I don't see a marking on it. It's Oh, this opens up, it says. Look at. Let's see. How does that open up? Oh, yes, it does. It comes apart. So maybe you can like interchange, whoops, interchange the um, the piece that's in it. All right, let's start it at 25. Let's start it at 25, see where it goes. Buy it, assuming... Um, that it is silver. It feels like silver to me. If it's not silver, I'm sorry. Um, maybe you guys can look it up and see if it is silver. But that's what you're buying. This beautiful bracelet. And it does, if it does have a marking on it, it's very heavy. You can see how thick it is. I don't know where to look. I looked all over. Saxton is at 32. Vintage Memories is at 35. I hope it is silver. Susan, that's what I was thinking. How about the mark behind where that popped out. Okay, let me look. Oh, you're so smart. It says 925. <laughs> it's silver. All right. Thank you. Right there. 925. So it is silver. So you're bidding on silver. Phew. 
You're so smart, Susan. <laughs> Thank you for that. I was going crazy trying to find where it would say it. So yes, so this is silver and it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It says it says it on it, Sandy. It is. Do I win? <laughs> Susan. All right, you'll get a few extra stamps in your box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Thank you for helping me with that. It takes a village. It takes a village. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. With the beautiful pouch. And I mean, it had to be silver because everything with it is so beautiful. And it comes with this instructions. And there's the... American West Jewelry. Frank is at 60. Thank you, Frank. You get candles. She gets candles that cost $200. Hundred and eleven in the chat. Hello, Denali. Oops, I must have not put that in right. Let me make sure I put it in correctly so it stays. Okay, it didn't snap in. Better than belts and bows. Is that gonna stay in? How come that's not staying in though? What am I doing wrong? Does it go a certain way? Maybe I'm not putting it back right. Okay, I just heard it snap but now it's not staying. What am I doing wrong? Is there something special I'm supposed to do? Maybe if I read the instructions. Oh, I see. It needs to snap into these two spots. You can't get it to stay. I didn't break it. I swear I didn't. I don't know why it won't stay in. It keeps popping out, you guys. I don't know why. Oops, next piece. <laughs> I can't get it to stay in. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I apologize. I don't know. It's not staying in. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, it sounds like it's snapped in. You guys are going to have to fiddle with it. I'm so bad at this stuff. I'm sure my son could probably come down here and snap it right in for me. You would think you just push it in and it would stay, right? Why isn't it staying? I don't know. Super glue time, right, Dale? I don't know. I didn't. It's got like a magnet in there. It looks like it should connect and stay. Or maybe the magnet came unglued and is supposed to be on that side instead of this side. See the magnet? And you guys will have to fiddle with it and see what the deal is with it. Mama? Um, I'm live. What's the place called? Um, it's called um, Grandes. How do I spell it? G-R-A-N-D-E-S, Grandes in Palm Beach Gardens on Donald Ross Road. Grandes Pizza. And you're going to order no, nonna pizza. What? I don't know why I got to order Frank it. is going to get it for 70 Frank, I hope you can fix it. If you can't, honey, get back to me and, you know, I'll make it right. I don't know what I did when I popped it out. Okay. Thank you, Frank. All right. Let me write that down. But you should be able to fiddle with it and get it get it to work. I'll have Massimo look at it. Massimo can fix anything before I ship it. See if he can fiddle with it. Push it in from the back. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I don't want to break it. So bracelet to Frank for 70. Thank you, Frank. I'm not going to deliver anymore. 
That was lot number 11. Lot number 11. 425. Okay, let me put this inside the box for Frank. Congratulations, Frank, and thank you so they don't much. Deliver past eight. Huh? They don't deliver past eight. Will you go get it? They don't pick up past nine, so. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Yeah. You can't order it, period? Nope. They won't accept an order? Nope. Oh. What else would you want? I don't know. All right, we'll think about it. Let me know. All right. Well, I'm starving, so try to think of something. I already ate. Oh, you got it. Well, I haven't eaten, and there's nothing to cook. Okay, here's the next piece from the same same collection. This is the card, American West Jewelry. Shriker duct tape will work. <laughs> Shriker. <laughs> All right, and here's the little pouch that it comes in, and it is this necklace here. And let's make sure this is marked silver. Going to give me a second to see. If it's marked silver, it's that liquid silver and it feels so soft and it feels like silver and it's marked 925, $25 to start for the liquid silver. It's really soft and really beautiful. Yes, Sandy, they're closed a while now. It's Sunday. <laughs> Sandy's like to send Ricky to Costco. <laughs> yeah, no, they're closed. And we have no food in the house. How many strands? Mm -hmm. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, it looks like. Let's make sure I didn't miss any. Oh, I missed one. Could there be 11? That would be really weird if there was 11. All right, let me count again. Sorry. So that's... One, two, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten, ten strands. It's 10 strands. Do you have a length on it? I do. <clears throat> I do have a length. <laughs> Dale. What's Dale saying? And Carl changed his name to Susan. <laughs> okay. So it's 10 inches plus it has a, it's 10 inches long. And it has a three and a half inch extender, 10 inches the way it stands. And then it has this extender on it. All right. Fancy Nancy's going to start us off at 25. All right. Thank you, Fancy. And it says on it, it says R. What does R stand for? I'll show you what it says. Uh, it's just signed. It's probably somebody's signature. Oh, it's the same signature that's on there. See the R? That's the same R. It's got an R on it. All right, if there's no other interest, let's give it to Fancy. This Fancy Nancy is going to be fancy with her silver. Carrie comes in at 27. Greg comes in at 29. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. 
How you doing, Craig? And then it comes with the pouch and the beautiful box complete. Nice gift. Nice to keep for yourself or to resell. I don't know what the value is. I have no idea. American West Jewelry celebrates romance, freedom, and natural beauty. Is an attitude. It is an attitude, a look, an invitation to express yourself boldly with endless possibilities. It is casual elegance and ionic American design, proudly designed and crafted with gemstones from around the world. American West Jewelry captures a storied sense of style, spirit, and adventure. It's a lot of adjectives. A lot of words, yes. A All lot right. of adjectives. Carrie's in for 36. KK, she didn't get a chance, honey. She was taking the girls' prom dress shopping, but she'll take a look at it and let you oh, know. Oh, I will. I will. I'm sorry. How do you know I haven't had a chance? Because I know you. Oh, I haven't had a chance. She's what? right. Of course I'm right. Yes. I literally I was at the I was at the mall with the girls and then I came home, made a couple of phone calls, tried to lay down, did a little bit more prompt stuff. Um and then came back on. Let's see, we've got Carrie at 36. All right, let's sell it to Miss Carrie. All right, any other interest? We're gonna sell it. Craig is out. Carrie, Carrie's gonna go once. It's so pretty, you're gonna love it. Nancy is out. Can I see closer, Donna? Just got back, what size chain? It was 20 inches with four inch extender and it's liquid silver. And it's uh, branded R by American West 925. Yeah. So. 38 to Susan. And then this is the company, American West Jewelry. And it comes with this beautiful box and a pouch that it that it goes into. And that's probably a pouch that keeps it from tarnishing. You know how All right, that Carrie's going to be out. Susan's at 38. Anyone else? Stop. Stop dangling. It's dangling. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a ladies. Nine two five. <clears throat> oh, okay. I actually do have some men's stuff, but I don't have it right here. Hang down. Carl. Hey, Carl. Thanks, honey. Welcome in. Donna, don't break it. Just saying. <laughs> I promise I won't break it. Who's buying it? Susan? She made Susan. that comment. Yeah. <laughs> Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold. Hey, Jonathan Roseberry. Hi, honey. Hello, Jonathan. Sold to Susan for $38. Congrats. Thank you, Susan. That was lot number 12. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, I'm going to show kind of a double lot. Did I bring some stamps? I don't think I brought stamps. <laughs> Oh my God, are you kidding me? They're all waiting. Carl's like, so where's the stamps? 
It's great. Are you kidding? Wait, well, I made I made like a couple of dibble boxes. All right, hold on. Let's see what's in here. Hold on, hold on. Have patience. <laughs> Don't give up on me just yet. All right, here's here's some. Here's some here. Oh my god, I waste a ton. All right, so this one sold and this one sold. I have I got all her jewelry here, so I'm gonna be selling the jewelry tonight also. Okay. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to do T, I'm putting you on. Okay. <laughs> okay, just giving you warning. Okay. Giving you fair warning. Okay, okay. no problem. I can always shut my camera off if I need to. Time changes many things. The name of the manufacturer is Stamps Happen Inc. And it's upside down. It's this one. And this is how big it is. It's a biggie. Saxton. What she hates herself. What is she saying? I would. I, I wonder why anyone would want stamps. So weird. <laughs> and then, you wait, girl. I'm gonna get you later in lava. That looks like Ziggy. Remember Ziggy? Yeah. Gary Patterson, 2000. Yeah, that I think is he the author. Is he the? Um... I don't know, but it says 2000 on it. Gary Patterson. Is he the? Maybe the artists, my sons would know. <coughs> That's their kind of Excuse me. This one is, I can't read it. Uh, Dean Morgan. Dean, uh, okay. If you Dean say Morgan so. is this one. With the two cats. This one will probably be one of the first ones to sell. Because it has the cats on it. Oh my Break gosh. 25. This one's adorable. Oh, puppy love. And this one is by Carol Carolyn Shores Wright. Shores Wright. Huh? Carolyn Shores Wright. Are they um some of them still have does this still have the plastic on it? Look like it did. Or look very shiny anyway. Yeah, it does because it's got the barcode still on it. Yeah. So it they're looks new, like, Carl. They're new. Yeah, they're all new. It looks like it. It looks like it does. I don't know how. You, yeah, you have to peel that off. So there's that one. This one is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is Gary Patterson also. Oh, the paws. Look at he's dreaming of cats. <laughs> he's counting cats. And bones. <laughs> and and <sheep>. birds and bunnies. <laughs> and bunny sheep. <laughs> birds and bunnies as well. Um, Gary Patterson, 1999. Wow, these are pretty old, you guys. Okay, this one is Judith. It's called Judith. This one's not colored in. Susan's like, don't sell all the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Yes, what he I does have. the far side. I knew it. Yes, Shanna. This one is Carolyn Shores. Shores right again. Yep. Hey, just Jackie. Just Jackie's in for 27. That's a beauty. Aren't those beautiful? They're so pretty. Why is Susan saying witches? Is she calling us witches? <laughs> Probably. This one's called A Friendly Light, and it's by this designer. D something. I don't know who D something is. We'll put this one like that. It's a lighthouse. She she is. Susan! It's okay. <laughs> She's fine. This one's a lighthouse. I don't know if I showed it to you. It says, from far away, a friendly light. That's very sweet. And then, and this one is, this one's really cute. It's called Spot. And it, it for 29. this is the company that makes it, the rubber maker stamp company. 
and this is what it is. And you can see it's brand new. Um, and then Susan's like, don't sell all the good ones. <laughs> House by the Sea. And it's by that D something again. D something. I don't know. D D Morgan. D Morgan copyright D Morgan. And no okay. jewels. We did not do the iron ons, honey. No. There's that one. <clears throat> and then there's this one. It's Native American giant block buster 2001 embossing art company. Oh, it's beautiful. There's an Indian. There's drums. Oh, wow. That's a nice there's, stamp. There's a bull. And there's an eagle. And it's just, a, it's big. It's a big block. Wow. So you, get, you get that one. And then this one is Stamp Studio. Tail. <laughs> Smart stamp studio and it's got like a number on it and you get that one carl wants to know how many in this lot before he asks oh he means begs for more greg's in at 35. <laughs> <laughs> there's this one Aww. she looks like holly hobby i'm just gonna say it's like she's dressed like holly hobby Stamp a D Dua. Stamp a D Dua. Just Jackie's in for 37. There's that one. There's this paintbrush in here. Dove All Purpose 1500. Brand new. I don't know if it's made out of Dove. Doves. But that's in there. This one is brush bamboo set made in something New York. And it's just a little baggy with bamboo stamps in it. That's in this lot. This one is... Oh, this is really cute. It's just a little stamp block with an ink pad. And that's in that lot. That's going to be one lot. That's one lot right there. Lots of great ones. Thousand dollars to Shriker. Woo -woo. No, he wants a thousand stampers. Shriker asked him how many does he want in the lot. I probably have a thousand. How many? Um, well, of the really, vintage memories, 44 to Greg. Well, of the really big, impressive ones, there's one, two, three, four. Here, let me put the second camera on so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Well, the of little the Holly Hoppy is pretty big too, right? 11, yeah, and then you get 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and this brush, 16, 17. And the cube. I counted the cube. Oh, okay. So there's 17 items, 17 items in this lot. Does Carl want more? Here is um oh okay Susan Whipper Snapper 2005 and it says oh. boo boo I'll add that one got it Susan <laughs> and there's this one this one is 
Copper Leaf Creations. I'll add that one. Carl comes in for 50. And then I'll add, I have no idea what this is. These shimmering watercolors are brilliant colors mixed with sparkling mica pigments, non-toxic and acid-free. Just dip your favorite wet paintbrush in the pot of color and play, play, play. So they're, um, I guess, like uh, powders that turn into paint. I'll add that to the lot. All right, just Jackie's going to be out. Greg's in for 55. This is a... Why is Susan saying phew, so I don't have to change my name, laugh out loud? I don't know. This one, this is a, it's called a pivoting point stapler. Oh, it moves around. Okay, so this is a pivoting point. Must be something that people use for crafts, like to get... Um, I'm going to put that in the lot. Brand new. Carl comes in for 75. Susan's in for 80 now. That's going in. And then this one is Stamp Abilities. Stamp Abilities was copyrighted in 2003. And it is... Popcorn. Popcorn. Frank Perez. There's your popcorn. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah, that's a cute one. That's going to go in the lot. Greg says way out unless we get real good. All right. Oh, whispering is here. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. There's that one is going to go in the lot. And oh, I'm eating marshmallows. Stamp abilities. This one's going to go in the lot. But wait, there's more. And then I'm going to put a bunch of these in it, too. I'm going to put this. And this. And this. Sorry, Carl. <laughs> hey, it's almost July. You know, Christmas in July. Are we doing Christmas in July again? Yeah. Yes, we are. We are. We need to start planning that. That's a cutie. How's that? Is that enough? What is this? Booking set. I have no idea. Some sort of plastic acrylic block blocking blocking set. Booking set. It says booking set on it. Oh, and look, staples for your stapler. So you get a stapler and staples in this block. All right, I'll put one more. Oh, happy birthday to you. Mice cream celebration. I love the names. And that's the whole lot. Awesome. Is that, is that good? It's a nice biggie. Hey, Deborah Reed. They don't make house mouse anymore. Very popular stamp. Awesome. Embossing plates. Thank you, Mary. Those are embossing plates. Carl's in for a Benji. Thank you, Carl. Well, then here's some more mouse ones since they're so popular. There's another one. Here's another one. 
This is just a flower pot. And that's it. That's all I'm adding. And look, Carl, you didn't even have to ask me. I just did it on my own. See, now I know the routine. <laughs> did I get a Hercules? I can't do it the way um, by Brian does. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> the best I can do. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. I, I got to come up with my own Hercules thing. I got it. I know what I'm going to say. Okay. Goals, goals, goals. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That, that's what I'm going to do. I like that, it. That's going to be my thing. <laughs> Goals, goals, goals. <laughs> Carl is at 100. Kathy, hey, hey, two times a day, sometimes three. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Mom gets it. Sold, sold, sold to Carl for... Yeah, technically you were on three times today. Four, oh. actually. Actually four, because you went four, twice. Yeah. Um, no <laughs> um, let's see. Stamp lot number 13. Oh, she's like, Kathy's like, for me. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I can be ready. I'm ready. I'm going to clean up this mess. You go ahead okay. and show something. Okay. I'm going to figure out what I can get the kids to go get me for a takeout for dinner at 930 at night. So. Yeah, not a lot of choices probably at this hour. No, Chinese food, I guess. is All, all right, I'm let about. me show you my next special. Okay, this is it. Okay. That's This is going to be my next special. There are 140, I forgot now, 140 or 150 sheets. It's like, twenty. it's over 2,500 cards. So whatever that is, because there are um, cards on both sides of all sheets. So there's going to be 18 cards on every sheet, um, $100, $100, free ship, who wants one? So it's all different teams, all different years mismatched, you know, pretty much all teams on most of them. Some of them you might get one player, no duplicates on the same sheet. You may get some duplicates in the set. I can't help it if that happens. Uh, also, there might be some sheets with like multiplayer ones, like if they, if it's like a, a Red Sox and a Yankee in a photo, they'll, the different kind of pictures, but it's a hunt. It's um no, it's a it's more than that, Shriker. It's 140 or 150, whatever equals 2,580 cards, I believe. Um, I should be able to do the math in my head, but I can't right now. The brain is a little cramped. So yeah, it's about 140, 150 sheets for a hundred dollars. Let me use my calculator and I can tell you exactly so I can remember. So if it was 150 times 18, no, it's it's 140 sheets. It's 140 times 18. Yeah, it's a little over 2,500. It's all baseball. It's all baseball. All baseball, all years from the mid-70s to about the late 90s. It's all baseball. All right, so that's going to be my new special. Um, you guys can order them whenever you want, and that's that's what that's going to be. I just wanted to bring you what the stack looked like and what it what it technically is, so you guys know. The only time you'll get like multiple players like on a card is if they're all for the same team, but sometimes you will get. Um... No, not dance. <laughs> Shriker, you're killing me, Shriker. <laughs> Shriker's tired too, like the rest of us. <laughs> Thank you, Shriker. Um, the only time you'll get where there's multiple players on one card is when they're all for the same team. But like if they're different teams, I have a bunch of them that um are on the same, you know, sheet 
like that. So that's what that is. This is what the stack looks like. Fits in a box very nicely, and they'll ship like that in a nice box. And that's what you get on that one. So if anybody wants that, just put uh, the card lot special in there, and Shrika will put you down for one. <laughs> right? I know, it's funny. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right, just let us know. This is my next lot. It is all vintage, all used, testers, half bottles. Yes, Carl, I do. Carl, I could fill that order 100 times over. So if you want 100 lots of those, just let me know. We'll put you down for that. Oh, that's all right, Shriker. I know you're busy, honey. You do what you have to do. We'll, 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 we'll. We appreciate that you're here. Uh, let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bottles in here. All right. Some of them are still kind of full or full at all. Like this one is Rafine, and it looks like it's really full, complete. Um, <clears throat> it just doesn't have a box. So that's that one. This one is Asca de la Rente. This is a room spray, actually. It's by Slatkin and Company. Asca de la Rente. Again, pretty full on that. This is this is a tester. It's called Skirt. This one is I don't know. I don't know if anybody can recognize the emblem. I'll see. Oh, here it is. It's oh, it's Versace. It's Versace. Wow, that one should be good. And you've got a lot of it left in there. This one is Dolce and Gabbana, uh, but it is a little worn off, and there's not a whole lot left in there, but there is some left in there. This one, I used to know what this one was. It is Parfum. I know I sold some of these before. I just can't remember who the... Oh, I did bring my magnifying glass. Did I bring my magnifying glass? Finally. I've only forgotten it 12 times downstairs. No, I guess I didn't. I left it down. I took it with me when we went away, and I didn't bring it back up here. Uh, Elizabeth Arden on this one, on this particular one. And it is par Parfum. So that's that one, which looks, looks full too. This is a Tova. This one is Jones, New York. Again, looks pretty full to me. Actually, there's there's two Jones New York, one with a cap, one without. The, there must be two different types because I have two of those, and then I have two of these, which is a different, looks to be a different, this is like almost like a greenish color. So I don't know if one is the perfume and one is the spray. Um, these... These were Victoria's Secrets. I had sold some of these around the holiday. Um, but again, they're testers. So you've got one, two, and again, they're three different colors, I think. Four and five of them in three different uh, things. Can you clank the bottle for ASMR just for about a half an hour? Why, Jenny? <laughs> Why, Jenny? Why would you want me to do that? And again, there's 14, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, 16. 16 in total in here. One of them is the Oscar de la Rente room spray. The rest are either perfume or cologne. Um, but uh, for the most part, they are perfume. 
and I'm sure you guys maybe should look up Versace. I didn't even realize this was Versace. I don't know if it's, um, well, the bottle has a chip on it, actually. It's not leaking or anything, but the bottle does have a chip. The glass is chipped, just FYI. Yeah, it's a tester, Versace. Let's see. Not... Can't read it. Need to get my magnifier up here. Oh, this is toilet. Edu toilet. E D T. Vieta la Vienta. Three point four on the fluid ounces. And then the skirt, which was a tester as well. That one's a cologne spray. Yeah, this is vintage. Made in the USA. You know it is when it's... Oh, it's Alexandra DeMarkoff company. Yeah. God, they made everything. They made everything. The Dolce & Gabbana... Fifty milliliters or one point six fluid ounces. Yeah, this guy's just so I'm remembering too. This is definitely got to go grounds. Um, EDT on this one, made in the U.S. So these these are definitely vintage. The four Jones, New York. The two two of these. Although this is made in France. And then the two of the green. Again, the Jones New York's made in France. And then the Victoria's Secrets, which these are not even branded on them. I just know from the last ones that I sold over the holiday. The testers, for whatever reason, were just like this. Then you got the um, all right, Osmas in for forty. Fancy's out. Yes, Sandy, you heard. <laughs> you heard Alexandra Demarkov. Yes, you did. You did. And the raffine, and the raffine, which looks. I mean, it's obviously it's used, but it, with the cap on, it looks practically new. If it's even, I don't even know if it's supposed to go any higher than that. And that one is come on, really? You know, it, it the camera sometimes has a mind of its own. I didn't ask you to flip over. I didn't ask you to do that. And this one is 75 milliliters, Dana, UK. Udi Papoom. And that's, again, the raffine. So that's where you guys get 16 bottles. All right, Osma's in at 42. What do you miss? The Mar the Markoff days? Oh, they're coming back. <laughs> they're gonna come back before I leave because I gotta purge. Fifty to Carl. Sandy, that's when you were really lagging. <laughs> like really lagging, remember? It's like, up, oh, Sandy's lagging again. <laughs> we love you, Sandy. <laughs> it's all good. Asma's in for fifty-five.
Carl's out. Thanks, Carl. Thanks. All right, let's call it to Ozma for 55. Hey, I can't wait to smell like like a skirt. <laughs> you funny. All right. Thank you, Asma. Thanks for bidding call. Appreciate it. All right. All right, the next lot is going to be this stack. And it's all teen magazines. All teen magazines. Hey, Chris Simmons, welcome in. 16. It's a couple of 16 magazines. So one, two, three, four, five of the 16 magazines. Then we have this Dig magazine from May 1957. Woo! Then we have, I don't know, but it looked like it was a popular magazine. I don't know if anybody can read them. Yes, Osmo, it was Robert Wagner. I'll show it again in a minute. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five of that. <laughs> Diversity is good, right? I mean, it's Asian, I think, or it, no, maybe not. It could be Jewish. It, it might be Hebrew. It, it definitely could be Hebrew. I mean, doesn't matter if you can, if you like what's in it, it's all good. <laughs> all right. And the dig. Yes, it was Robert Wagner. Yes, it was. Of course, here they're calling him Bob Wagner. Notice this. See, let's not forget to share with everyone our plans for tomorrow morning. Oh, a hundred percent. I didn't do the, I forgot to do the, th I'll do the thumbnail when you show next. Okay. <laughs> I, I definitely forgot. Um, and then this next stack which is all of these these are all teen magazine okay well since she's not going to tell you i will tomorrow morning at 9 30 we're going to have coffee <laughs> and immediately after coffee we're going to go live we're going to have coffee and immediately after coffee we're going to have a morning auction yes. um <laughs> And the reason why we're going to do that is number one, T didn't work all last week. So she's got some catch up work and she's got to liquidate her house. And number two, I have goals, goals, goals. And um, I have to pick up two truckloads of inventory tomorrow. So I need to blow out this inventory. That's it. That's all I want to say. Susan's going to be here. She's going to be packing and shipping. And Carl likes my goals, goals, goals. Do you like that, Carl? <laughs> Wowzer, Schreiker says, yeah, we ain't fooling around. Well, I mean, I fool around a little bit, but not like that kind of fool around. I mean, I, yeah. Schreiker, if you want to take the morning off, we could ask Janine or somebody um, if, if you need a break, honey. Coffee in an auction, 9.30 in the morning, bright and early. Did you get something to eat? We just ordered from Duffy's. Gross. Everything's closed. I, I don't know who Duffy. I don't know who Duffy is. Duffy's is like an American 
Bistro. Hi, KJ. So these are early 1980s on the teen magazines. Everyone is 80, 81, and 82 that I've seen so far, but we'll go through the rest of them. 82, uh, here's an 84, here's an 80, and then I'll tell you what the other ones are as well. This one is a July 80, and the cover is um, removed. And this one is August of 80, March of 81, March of 84, January of 80, October 81, September 81, January 81. And it looks like the next one, the cover is removed from June of 82. And this one looks like, might as well have been duct tape, but they used masking tape on March of 82. <laughs> this is November 81. Why is Rev, why is, I'm going to bed, Richard. The Duffy's, oh my, why is he saying that? It's not the Duffy's, it's <laughs> Duffy's. It's just plain old Duffy's. And it's not IES, it's just a plain old Y at the end. <laughs> no da. You make it sound fancy putting the word da and IES on the end. Right? December 1980. Oh, now we get into November 1978. Uh, June 1980, August 1981, this one the cover is missing completely so I have no idea but we all know who that is, Farrah, yeah, it's Farrah Fawcett. But I don't have a cover on this one. 1979 is the Maybelline ad that I see. So, nineteen eighty-two, July eighty-one. Oh, we know who that is too. What's her name? Help me, somebody. I don't know who that is. I do. I have no idea. Yeah, we definitely know who that is. I just can't figure it out right now. December 78. Is it Marie Osmond? It could look like her. I just don't know if it really is her. Maybe it is her. This one. This one's a little weird. Um, October 1978. We think they could get somebody better on that one. June 1981. They're all in their 50s now. Yeah, I know. Like the rest of us. Uh, this one is missing. Yeah, this one's missing a cover. we got tons of ads. If anybody's into ads, boy, you definitely have ads in these. 1978 on that one. Nineteen eighty. Hey, family vlog official. Welcome. Nineteen seventy eight. Nineteen eighty one. April eighty. And March of 80. All right, so you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 of the teen, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh, I should have showed the backs of these. <laughs> 47 and 48. So that's what you got there. And I think I see Maria International. Welcome, Maria. Maria's in for 55. 60 to Carl. And I lied, I just found another team. So I think it's almost 50. If I find another one, I'll try to make it 50 if possible. If I have an extra one laying around. This way it's nice and even. You know T. She likes even Steven. I don't have any more here. And I promised my husband I wasn't bringing anything home from the storage unit. I was selling everything that was at the house. So. <laughs> All right, Carl's going to be out. Maria's in at 65. Anyone else? Did we get an out from everybody? Hey, Ryan. Ryan, did you give us an out, honey? Let us know. I got a now from Carl. Hey, Lindsay Ann. We need 70 or an out. KJ is out. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, everyone, for bidding. Thanks, Carl. God bless you. Husband sneezing. Brian, let us know, hon. We just don't like to leave anybody behind. We either need 70 or an out. We don't like to call it until we know that everyone's good. We're going twice now to Maria Maria. Thank you, Ryan. All right. We're going to be sold to Maria. Thank you. I know, Carl. It's so hard. I get it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. You all clean there up, cleaned up there, Miss Donna? I am. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, you guys, so these clothes came from the same woman that I got um, all the this stuff from. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going through it for the first time myself. I'll be honest. They are, so this one's a single stitched. They're a little bit, they're a little bit yellowed. 
from where it was folded. You see the yellow line from where it was folded. So it probably will wash. And that's the other thing that I want to mention. They have like, they have a scent to them. I can't, it's, it's not offensive, but there's definitely a scent. I can't tell if it's like incense or what it is, but I'll show you what I have. So I have this one. Let me put this camera on also. Okay. So I have this one here and I have no idea who that dude is. Hi, Erica Casey. Do you know who that is? Hyder Grafty? I don't know. And then there's, so she was definitely into like Indian. Southwestern. Yeah, that's like South, a Southwest. Yeah. And this brand name, Nuovo, yeah. size small. And they do have shoulder pads. So they're, they're definitely vintage. So there's that one. Carl. Okay. Good night, honey. There's this one. Sandy's right. She might've had some kind of sachets or something in her drawer. Yeah. A lot, a lot of my mom used to do that all the time. Well, I mean, some of them don't even look like they've been like washed. They feel like it's almost like this maybe the sizing smell I'm smelling. I don't know. Crisp. But, hey, good crisp. night, Carl. There's that one. No extra crown royal. Welcome in. Thanks for coming. There's this one. I mean, they are pretty awesome. You know, yes. and they have dirt, dust, and scent always free here at the <laughs> auction. I mean, even the buttons are great on them. You know, they've all got. Um, then this one is corduroy and they're all, well, I guess not this one, but they're all that same brand name. This one is please. Thank you. It's so funny. I, I say that. Oh, this has got a tag on it. It's never been worn. Please thank you. New York City, Broadway is the name of the company. It's Corduroy. Good night, William. And it's got pearl buttons. Good night, William. And it's got pearl buttons. So that's going to be in the lot. And then here's another one. It's that same name, Nuovo. Again, kind of like a southwestern style it had to be expensive clothing in its day because even the buttons are beautiful on them nikki you where's that? your auction husband been i haven't seen him for a few days who's that bruce oh i don't know and then there's she even bought like navajo looking socks she was really into that navajo look um there's socks in this lot, all brand new, brand new socks. And she even was into belts. And this is the same name as the shirts. Oh, yeah. So. And oh, I'm looking for a, third, a, third, a $25 start on this, guys. It, look at how it matches everything. The shirt matches the socks. It's like a whole like ensemble here. And then here's the same name again. Nuovo. Uh-oh, we lost your camera. Oh, did I? Hey, secret agent. Oh, yeah, it died. The phone died. died. Yeah, so I'll just have to, I'll, I'll plug it in in a minute. Here's another Nuovo belt. This is a pretty big lot. Here's another Nuovo belt. Anybody heard of this brand name? Do I have anything nice here? This one is... Um, genuine full grain leather hand painted Nuovo belt. Um, Amy, no, I don't know if she mentioned any of the sizes. Small. Oh, they're all small. And look at how many socks, all these Nuovo socks. 
all brand new Novo socks. It's like, why buy all these clothes and then not do anything with them? Look, all Novo socks. Anybody heard of this brand name? All brand just new. Jackie products. and Osma come in at 25. Jackie beat you in just by a hair a second. Need 27, Osma. All these brand new pairs of socks. And here's another Novo shirt. She just must have loved this style. And it's all like turquoises and reds and. Let's see what this sweater is. This is a big, heavy cotton turtleneck sweater. Let's see what the name is. 27 from Osmo. Oh, it's the Gap. This is the Gap. Hey, Lucas D. Oh, but there is a pair of vintage high-waisted guest jeans in here, which I'll include in the lot. I bet those will sell. And more socks. This one is, again, that same name. And this is a kind of a cow neck, turtleneck, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me with all these socks? More socks. More socks. These don't have tags on them, but let me see what they are. Oh, they're Gitano. They're Gitano. I'll include them in, but they're Gitano. They're Gitano. Just socks. Jackie's in for 30. Nose picking, they're small. Everything's small. This one is like a beaded, beaded belt. And this one is junk. Get rid of that. If I wouldn't post it, I'm not going to bother to look, show it to you. Look at that. Mimi resells is in for 32. Hi, Denise. Oh, these, uh, these guest jeans are so classic. Look at how vintage they are. Um, Marcano, are yeah. George Marcano, yeah. <laughs> these are great. Love those. Okay, that's going to go. I think I had a pair of those in the 80s. Probably. Here is another... Nuevo. This one's a long sleeve, long sleeved one. They all have that same pattern as the belts. So this is a pretty big lot. What does this one say? Oregon. It's just four from Ozma. It's just a, a shirt that says Oregon on it, but it's brand new. So she, maybe she was from Oregon. Is there a I was just going to say, that, that, that would be fitting clothes for... Um, really? Is there a lot of... Yeah, for the South... For, well, the Northwest, really, right? Oregon? It's single stitch. This is single stitch, Oregon. Nice. Yeah. So it's vintage for sure. This other Oregon is also single stitch. They're brand new. 37 from Mimi. This one is Victoria's Secret. Oh, lucky you, Lucas. Oz got rained out for the third time in six weeks. Cute little shorts and little Victoria's Secret. This, oh. might, be, this might be vintage. The vintage Victoria's Secret. I think about. I had an, That sounds funny. I think I had a short set like that. <laughs> oh, my God. So small. And yeah, well, I was that small at some point in my life. Junk. Okay, so that's the whole lot. I'll count them as I put them back in. Um, this has a big stain on it. Um, I'll include it in as a freebie, but it does have a big stain on it. Look at it, it has the tag and it has it, its tag too. Wow, yeah, but I'll include yeah, you, that in as a freebie 50 from okay. Rummage Raiders. So you get one. The Victoria's Secret is two. The two vintage t-shirts are three and four. And then five and six. The belt that matches everything. Seven. I'm not going to count all the socks. There's so many pairs of socks. 
That's eight. These guest jeans, I think these will be a good sell. This is nine. Oh, look at that button. Pretty. Nice. Yep. So this is 10, 10 pieces so far. Let me put all these socks over here. It's 10, 11, 12, 13 on the belts. 14. Another belt is 15. 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this t shirt, let's see if it's single stitched. It is 21, whoever this guy is. That's 21 pieces of clothing and belts. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, Jim G. 12, 13, 14. 15, 16 pairs of socks, and these don't have um, tags. Tags, but I'm going to throw those in too. 16 pairs of socks. It's a pretty big lot. Where are we at? We have rummage in at 60. Awesome. Number 14 is clothing lot. Cut the shirt and crochet around the neckline. All right, Maria, let us know. Ozma is out. <laughs> Maria's so polite. She always says, I'm out. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Maria. Vintage right. treasures. Hey, Paul. Hi, Paul. All right, we're going to call it. 60 to rummage. AKA Saxton Cole. Lot number 14. Erica, let us know. We didn't see an out from you, honey. Still looking for bad shirts, though. Ooh, nose picking sneaks in. Ooh, 65 from nose picking. Nose. Maria, Maria, I have a stack here. I'm going to do. I have. I knew you were sniper nose. See, you get to know people more and more each day. I'm going to try to set that second phone up so that I can do um, another huge lot of uh, stamps. <laughs> Jeez, am I chopped liver? No, Ryan. Any comics or cards? Oh, I just showed those cards, Ryan. The 140 double-sided sheets for 100, over 2,500 cards, mixed cards, if you're interested. Sneaky, right, Lucas? Hey, K Fry. I keep sneaky, wanting to say K Fry because I'm so used to that. <laughs> 70 from Rummage. Thank you, Rummage. Hey, Agent. Thank you so much. Hello, Agent. How are you? 75 to nose. Nose, nose. Nose, nose. <laughs> uh, the cards are anywhere from late 70s to early 90s. They just they're they're a mix. I mean, they don't feel like they've ever been washed. I think what I'm smelling is the sizing. 
I think that they were bought and just put away and the sizing has just, I mean, it's not like animal smell or, you know, any kind of like offensive. It's like almost like a chemical smell. Maybe just something that company used too, or again, it could have just been like a sachet or something in the drawer. Maybe. Deborah says, Donna, did you find the stamps not on wood blocks, but acrylic? I don't know. Deborah, I have so much of that stuff. I missed it. I was smoking in the other room. Packing a bowl. They're all, they're, they're all kind of like this. This is the name, Saxton, Nuevo, Nuevo. And they have- All Southwestern, vintage, all Southwestern. single stitch. And they have like matching socks to like the shirts. And I've got like single stitched t-shirts in here from Oregon. And then there's a bunch of, I don't know how many I counted, there's a bunch of belts. That kind Socks of have tags, shirts don't, belts don't, but they look unworn. They're crisp. Yeah. Deborah I'm, Reed wants a hundred dollar mystery craft box. I don't think any of these um, have been. I don't think any have been worn. But look at how nice that belt matches that shirt. With a nice pair of jeans, that would make so such a cute outfit. Yeah. Eighty to uh, to rummage. $100 craft box to Deborah Reed. Deborah Reed, yes. Oh, and two pairs of vintage guest jeans also. Thank you, Erica. Yep, two pairs of vintage guest jeans in there. Oh, Mary Ness said she saw some acrylic stamp blocks and stamps. Oh, okay. I think so. Pretty sure I do have them. All smalls, Jill. All smalls, yep. Deborah Reed, mystery, one hundred dollars. Yeah, no, I see. All right, we're gonna go once to Saxton. Jill, what sizes were the shirts? Jill, I don't know if you heard, they're all small, but they ha they do have a little bit of a scent to them. Not like perfume smell, not animal smell. I not think smoke. it's sizing, not smoke. I think it's sizing. I think that the stuff was like bought, never worn, Put in a box because they're crisp. You can tell when something's been washed, and this doesn't look like it's been washed ever. Um, yeah, so, and they're all this brand, most of them, all this, oops, upside down, Nuevo, Nuevo, and even the socks. Not B.O., no, Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> Nuevo. It's definitely not B.O. <laughs> hmm. So we're at fair warning. We're going to give it to Saxton. All right. For $80. $80. Thank you. Um, okay, let me put this in here. And now this is going to be my next lot. This all came from her. Um, where's my thing here? This is what I have. So there's this, um, all different stones. I know there's tiger's eye here. I don't know as far as what some of the other stones are, but there's that. There's this one, and this one is marked 925. I'm doing this as one lot. All right. Um, either put me in the back, or I'm going to just mute myself for a minute because I want to just clear this stuff I didn't clear. Okay. 
Um, there's that one. That's Mark 925. There's this one, which is marked 925 as well. Oops, it would help if I showed you the right side of it. So this is just like a Navajo natural stone. These all came from her. Um, they were in that box when I found the other jewelry. If you guys watched the video, you saw me like pull them all out. And I looked at, I looked at the malt he was showing. So this is silver. I don't know what the stone is. I don't know if this is dyed howlite or whatever it is. And then this is silver. You get this bracelet and that does have a, a silver clasp on it. And then you get this and this is also silver. That's also silver. And again, I'll give you a close up on it um, on some of them to show you what, what you're bidding on. Um, so because of the way my light is, I still have to uh, find time to adjust my light. So there's this one. Sorry, it's coming in so dark. This is a bracelet, silver, probably silver beads in between. Here's another one. These look like they're like little hand painted, maybe little specialty balls that were probably she probably bought them at some Indian reservation or something then there's this one this is all silver and whatever stones that is and then there's this one this one doesn't have a clasp it just has all these stones So it must just slip over your head to wear it. And then this one, this one, the marking is really hard to find. That's the name on it. It's, um, I barely could see it. It's right above it. You see that 925 right above it? Um, and it's A Y A Y. It's no A V G A D A V G A D is the name on it. And this is the actual closure on it. So it's quite a bit of silver on this one. And then this is the pendant. Hold on. That's the pendant that's on it. There. And then these are the stones maybe coral i don't know i don't know what it is we got susie at 55 hey jules wow that was has uh, so many semi-precious stones tiger's eye carnelian turquoise hey little martin's nest and jewels okay so that's what you get you get one Two, you can tell she loved these colors. Um, is Marilyn, are you registered? I don't know if Marilyn is registered. I don't have my registration pulled up. Let's see if T comes back. Can anybody vouch for Marilyn? Does anybody know who Marilyn is? We can accept, not yet. Marilyn, you have to register in order to be able to bid. But thank you for being here. If you can get your registration in in time before the auction closes, we will accept your bid unless somebody here knows you. There's that one. This one looks like it's like clear, I mean, um, glass beads, maybe handcrafted glass beads do you have a link she is good Ryan says um Shrika, can you drop the link please Ryan knows you 
Okay, if Ryan knows you will accept. She is legit. Thank you, Wes. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming in, Marilyn. Thank you so very much. Um, we're going to have you fill out a registration form, please. Um, oh, what is here? I'm sorry? Chuck, can I have a bite of your Alfredo? No. Don't touch my food. I don't want your damn food. <laughs> Where did you find Alfredo? You found Alfredo on the menu? It's Alfredo pasta, yeah. Oh, man. Why? Because I was looking for it. For yourself? Yes, and I didn't see it. Oh, no, Jim, we have to fight for food in this house. You have no idea. <laughs> All right. Back you away get? from my meal. What'd you get? Oh, my gosh. You should see them in the kitchen right now eating. That's a beautiful combination of, um, I want to bite too, right? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, you guys? It's so pretty. Step away from the food, Bo. It's true. You have to, like, guard your food in this house. You really do. Same thing in your house, Jill, right? You have to hide it. Style up world, thank you. We're doing this one next, you guys, this beautiful one. I've got some other nice pieces too. That's what it comes down to, casual flipper. Yes. Survival of the fittest. Absolutely. Susie's at 70. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. This one is awesome, I have to say, especially with the um, the closure on it. See how pretty the closure is on it? It's really chunky. It's a lot of silver. Thank you, Lindsay. And um, you guys heard me say the name. I don't know the name, but maybe it's some sort of like Navajo jewelry or something. Not sure. I hope I find more. 122. Awesome. 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 Happy Sunday night, everyone. Thank you for coming in. If there is anybody else in the background, if you would like to um, register to bed, please do so ahead of time. Um, the purplish bracelet. I wonder what that is. I think it's, I, to me, it looks like it may be some sort of like artisan blown glass beads is what it feels like. Maybe glass. And I don't know that it's really pretty. Um, there's, what's that name of, I should know it. Floor, floor does something. I don't think it's quite that, but that's what it reminds me of. Honey, hello, honey. What's the name of it, you guys? Help me out. That floor did something. But this one looks like it's almost like, I don't know, critters or something. Looks like blown glass. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Susie's at 70. What did you guys get? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Are you thinking of Mille Fiore? Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Mille Fiore. It kind of looks like it, but not really. Kind of looks like it.
All right, lot number 16 is jewelry. Be right back. All right, honey. We'll be here. Hi, Donna. Emailed a couple of days ago. No hurry. Um, Lindsay, you emailed me about um, getting a dibble box together for you and your husband. Is that what the email that you sent me that you were going to get back to me? If that's the email, I got that. I was just waiting for you to get back to me. Unless you sent something else. And I... I really didn't check my emails yesterday because I was running all day yesterday um, picking up all this cool stuff. Let me know, Lindsay. All right, are we closing this going twice to Susie? We got a fair warning on the board. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. $75 to Marilyn. Thank you, sweetheart. T, if you have a moment, can you check Marilyn? But people vouched for her. Just make sure we got the city and- Marilyn is good. Marilyn oh, is thank good. Thank you, Marilyn. Welcome to the family. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Yes, Lindsay, let me know, honey. Whenever you're ready, I'll I'll put together whatever you want. You know, you just let me know. Just in the nick of time, right, Susan? Oh, you're welcome, Marilyn. Thank you. Oh, okay, Lindsay. All right, I'll look. I didn't know that you sent what you were interested in. All right, I'll have it. I'll have a take a look at that tomorrow. Carla. Carla, you have been waiting for an interesting dibble box. Why don't you um, take advantage of one of these awesome um, crafters um, dibble boxes? You might do well with it. I smell something burning. Might be something in the kitchen. There's nothing burning around me, so I'm not worried. Marilyn, I've been, T and I have been doing them together. It will be uh, two years in July. And I started doing them about six months before she did. So I am going on like my third year. Oh, Susan says tonight. Did you mean tonight or the length of time? I don't know. Tonight we went on at eight. <laughs> Right, G. <laughs> Tonight, eight o'clock. Well, welcome to my world, Marilyn. <laughs> Me personally, I don't know. Almost three years. <laughs> I don't know what you was asking. Marilyn, tell us what you were asking. Did I answer correctly or incorrectly? <laughs> Length of time, she said. See, I answered. Welcome to your world. <laughs> I correctly. Stop putting your hand on your forehead. She's you putting your hand in the, on her forehead in the background over there. I, mean, I can see what she's doing. She's like, she's doing this. No, I'm not. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn. Marilyn Blatt, $75 for the awesome Indian Navajo stone. Congratulations. I don't know what it is. All right. Are you ready, honey? Yeah. Okay. Tea's coming on, you guys. <laughs> no, Susan, I wasn't doing that. She was wrong. <laughs> she was so wrong. She was really wrong with that. Oh, my 
God, I'm all tangled up here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bear with me for one second. All right. So this is what I have left. If you guys remember, for those of you who've been around, um, holiday time, I was doing some, some of these. They are scrubs. And this is what I have left. They're Borghese. And they are the Fango Delicato. And the size of these particular ones, these are the larger sizes. I think I was selling the smaller ones, but these are the larger ones. Let me grab my mag. I went downstairs again and forgot my magnifying glass. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, my phone is all tangled. It's going to, it's at like 4%. It's going to be dead in a minute. And it's going to be dead now because somebody just tried to call me or something, and it's dead. All right. Yeah, so that's not going to work. just wanted to see if I could get you size on these. I really thought I knew what they were, but I don't. I don't know. I'm going to have to look in a minute. All right. So this is what they are. Let me get a focus on it. Let me see. Maybe the front's going to tell us. If I can get them focused. Oh, good, Deborah Reed. Come on. Oh, you got the real big jar, Sandy. Yeah, it wasn't. It was the pink, the big pink one. Yes, the big pink one. I did um, one offs on. Yeah, that's probably your right, Susan. Right. Anyway, uh, I'll get it. I'll figure it out. I'll let you know what it is. So it's active mud for delicate dry skin. Borghese, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them left. Nine of them left. And there's 7.5 ounces. I got it. 7.5 ounces. That's what they are. Sandy's in for 25. Jill jumps right to 45. Yeah, Jill, I think, got a bunch of these for me, too. I know some of you did. Oh, yes, Marilyn, we invoice here, honey. So we will, um, 50 to Sandy. We'll send you an invoice uh, tomorrow on anything that you buy. Teas are those fragrant fragrant it i'm su i'm assuming you fragrance um but i don't believe i don't believe there's a fragrance on these it just says active mud for delicate dry skin oh you know what my loop is here my phone just mm. is completely dead now that's it it's dead, 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 just died because I have to plug it in because I pulled the plug out of the wall because I got tangled here with everything. I did see my loop here. I did see my loop. And if I knew where anything in this office was, I'd be dangerous. I would definitely be dangerous. <laughs> Oh, I knew I brought it up. All right. I knew I had it. I knew I had it. Okay. So you guys asked for a fragrance. No. No, it just says cleansing mud mask for delicate dry skin. Apply in a thick layer 
to cleanse skin, avoid eyes, mouth area, rest for two to five minutes, remove with wet sponge and rinse with warm water. All right, and that's what we got. I better get the girls' names correct. <laughs> that's okay. I'm T. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. And that was Donna, Donatella. But we call it Donna. Her friends call her Donna, as she likes to say. But I'm T. T-E-E. -E. Sandy's in for 70. Oh, thank you, Shriker. Sandy wants them bad, right? Aw, thank you, Marilyn. And that's my YouTube channel. And because Donna and I do auctions together every other day, one day it's my channel, one day it's hers. Once you're registered here, we'll just get you a wrench when you come over to my channel. Tomorrow we're doing coffee in an auction at 930. All right, we're going to call it to Sandy. Jill is out. Aw. Nice. They love them. Rich, come on, Rich. You get us right. <laughs> Where's Steve? There's a new girl in town, Steve. Where are you? <laughs> All right. Sold to Sandy Kirk for $70. Where's Junebug? I don't know. She never misses a show. I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Erica. 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, we're going to do coffee in an auction, Erica. All right. Sandy Kirk. Thank you, Sandy. Um, she may have her grandchildren Sunday. I don't know. Possibly. All right. Tea, do a nice big desk dibble. Something just fell behind the other desk. It was your established sign made by June. Was that what it was? Mm hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, it did fall. Oh, it's going to take uh -oh. me a minute. Susan's got FOMO. She's like, it's 6 30 a.m. for me, and she's like slapping her head. Sorry, Sorry Susan. Susan. We, we won't keep you up too late tonight so you can get a good night's sleep and you can get up and have coffee with us. Yeah, but the problem is, is right after here, she goes right into Lava Lamp Live and she doesn't want to miss what's going on in Lava Lamp Live. <laughs> well, I can't control that. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. You know what I said? I was going to bring these concert slash T-shirts. I'll do those next. <laughs> Kyle, you're so funny. All right. So this is what I have. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of them. All right. Ten of them. I think all but two, maybe concert tees. Not vintage, newer concert tees. Like this is Slipknot from 2017 tour or 2016 tour, Mice and Men. This one is a size 2X. That's awesome. And then there's a couple of these deaf leopards. I think there's one large. Deaf Leopard with Poison, sponsored by Tesla, North American Tour 2017. So you've got one large, and I think the others are extra large. Yeah, extra large on these.
And there's three of the extra large. <clears throat> this is the first meal I've eaten all day. Mm -hmm. I'll enjoy it, honey. 10.43 at night. <clears throat> I mean, I had a banana earlier. And then this is Cheech and Chong Up and Smoke Extra Large. Oh, that's great. That's a great one. I think it's a repop, though, because it's, you know, it's it's not... um. It's not vintage or anything, but it is. Yeah, but it still says Cheech and Chong on it. Oh, so yeah. It's, yeah, it's awesome. It's still a licensed product, even though it's not, you know. Did you have dinner tea? I just snuck something in when you were showing before. What did Robbie make? A uh, steak. Nice. Steak, potatoes, and asparagus. This is a Las Vegas. Now, this one, I think, was single-stitched. Yeah, this one is single-stitched. It says Las Vegas on it, and I think there is a year on this one. Western Supply, 1990 on that one. Jules, they're new, but they're repop, meaning that they're reproductions of like the original concert right. t-shirt. Not or... the other concert tees. The other concert tees yeah. are just newer concerts, but the, yeah, those are legit. The um, the up and smoke one is the Cheech and Chong one. This one is vintage. This is a XL. Frenchie, I'm sorry I haven't gotten you th their emails yet, honey. I know I said I was going to do it today, and but the day ran away from me. Brad Paisley, 2015. How many heavy metal ones? Whatever you saw so far, because the rest are country. There's uh, the Brad Paisley here, and then there's two Luke Bryants. And this one is a medium. Yeah, but Kyle, that's not a bad thing that we we wait for an out before we close it. Because sometimes people come back in and they're like, oh, no, my phone froze. I really wanted that. Or, you know, my phone died or my computer died or whatever. So that's why we always say, let's just wait when people... I mean, if the bids were like $30, $35. Donna, I don't think Kyle's complaining about that. Oh, okay. No, but I'm just trying to explain. Like when 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 a oh, bid is yeah. like, when a bid is like in the like a hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred, I don't like to close it until we get the out from the people, all the people that were bidding on it. I think it's just courtesy. Oh, <laughs> the, the Def Leopard, there's four Def De, there's four Def Leopard shirts. One is large and three are extra large. Thank you, Kyle. That's very sweet of you letting Marilyn know. Oh, this one, this is this this one was weird. This one doesn't have a tag at all. I was gonna compare it to the size of the other Luke Bryant one. Because for some reason it doesn't have a tag at all. And it doesn't even look like the tag was even cut out. So I'm not sure what the story is with this one. But let's see if we I can give you an accurate size on this one compared to the other one. Rich, single stitch t-shirts are vintage and they are trending like crazy. A lot of people that went to these concerts when they were younger, like our age or my age, I don't know how old you are. They're now looking for these concert t-shirts that they went to when they were younger because it reminds, it's, you know, nostalgia. So if it has a single stitch on it years ago, they only would put a single stitch. It's on the sleeve. So when you're out in the wild yeah. and you're shopping, you want to look for a single stitch like that. That's a double stitch. Right. And the single, I'll show you a single. And she'll show you a single. Like Saxton just bought <clears throat> recently from me 
a mountain of single stitch t-shirts and a lot of them had like hey the superior kitten welcome in a lot of them had stains and holes people don't even care they buy them with stains they buy them with holes oh yeah i sold that other one that was a mess <laughs> that's that single see all right we're gonna call it let's call it to nikki Nostalgia is like the best customer, Kyle. I think the most I ever got on eBay, this is before I did auctions, which was like three years ago. <clears throat> and I bought a storage unit that had hundreds, hundreds of single stitch t-shirts. You can see the video in my videos. Um, I re-released it too recently. Um Oh my gosh. And that was before, like, I only had like 25, 30 people in my auctions. And I, oh my gosh, I gave away those t-shirts, gave them away, but I did post some. I think the most I ever got on a single stitch t-shirt was almost $300. I got two and it went out of the country. Yeah. The girl bothered me forever. She bothered me about it forever. I don't remember if it was The Cure or it was definitely a, a, an 80s band. I just don't remember who exactly it was. It was the, the Cure, The Pesh Mode, one of them. I think mine was a wrestling one, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, was it? No, mine was definitely a mm -hmm. concert thing. <clears throat> I think I had it listed for three, but she harassed me for like a month to get to get it, give it to her because of the shipping to wherever the heck she was. And, Hey, so Jack, welcome in. Hey, Jack. Oh, is that why, Shriker? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you, yeah. if you're out in the wild, like Donna likes to say, I love that expression she uses. If you're out in the wild, those are, those are the ones you want to look for. I mean, we went to a garage sale one day and this was before my husband really was into eBay, but I started giving him the bug and some lady had a couple of like her son's concert tees. I'm sure he's cursing her out to this day. And she's like, Oh, give me 50 cents a piece for him. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <clears throat> That's crazy. Um, who is Luke Ryan? Um, he's, he's a country, country. guy. He's a country guy. Um, How's he is he new or Sergeant's Pork? I don't know, but it's Luke Bryan, not Ryan. It's Luke Bryan. Sergeant um, Spork, you're kind of, you're up kind of late tonight. Not that new, says Susan. All right, we have Jack in for 80. How many pieces total? Lucas is out. Ten, 10 shirts in total. Four on the Def Leopard, two on the Luke Bryan, uh, one of the Vegas, one of the Cheech and Chong. Michael Whalen, welcome in, honey. Hey, Michael Good Whalen. Oh, they, I was going to say Kenny Chesney. It's not Kenny Chesney. It's, um, oh my God, who's the other country guy? One of those country guys. <laughs> Yes, his muse is new country, says T. Hewitt. Okay, Frenchie, I'm going to send them to you right now, honey. <clears throat> Erica, no, it's on my channel in the morning, honey. We'll drop the link if you're not subscribed. Mm -hmm. All right, Jack's going to be out. Lucas is at 85. Oh, Luke Bryan is a judge on American Idol now. Okay. That's okay, Lucas. As long as we don't call sold, you can come back in. We're all okay. If you guys go out and you come back in, that's fine. But once you type out and we say sold, you can't say, hey, I wasn't out yet. <laughs> Thank you, Shriker. Erica, there's my channel, honey. Yeah, so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please hit the bell notification so you know when we go live. How do I turn off spell check in old? Do I turn off spell check in old? 
That must be a typo. Uh, yeah, I'm just not sure what it means. How do I turn off spell check in? <clears throat> oh, Connie says he's extremely nice. Worked with him a couple of times. Nice. In you two, I'm old. <laughs> okay. Please shut the door behind you if you come back in, Kyle. Taran. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it to Lucas. Wait, who else did Frenchie say? Kathy and who? Uh... <clears throat> oh, Junebug. Uh, thank you, Lucas. You must have stole either JJ's or Goose's. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Erica. All right, 85 to Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Do this little box. It's a little box of um, just some assorted keychains and magnets in here. Um, I really had no other way to kind of show them. Uh, maybe take this glass dish. I don't know if this is going to make it any easier for you guys to see it. There's a lot of, I'll do the magnets first um, so you guys can see the magnets. Okay, Frenchie, um, email sent, honey. Um, this is California. There's a lot of Disney in the magnets. I mean, there's not a ton, ton of magnets, but whatever it, I have in the Disney, there's magnets. This is I Love Mickey. It's Mickey Cruise, Disney Cruise Lines. No, I'm old. Guys, stop fighting who's old. Oh, this is actually a Disney keychain. So there's keychains and magnets here. They're not all Disney. Like some of the keychains, there's a lot of those. There's duplicates on these, these kind of like duckies. I think this might have been a keychain, but it's just mini. Got up at like 4 a.m. going to sleep. Good night, Saxton, honey. Good night. Wait, Saxton's going to bed? She's going to bed. She's like, I've been up since 5.45 a.m. Saxton, don't you dare. You're in trouble, Saxton. Are you kidding me, Saxton? <laughs> That's Thank actually you. a okay. kid. You're the best. Don't you, if, listen, if you don't show up at Lava Lamp Live, I'm going to be really, really angry with you. New name, new sleep schedule. <laughs> <clears throat> she says she's tired. Let the poor girl. You know what it's like to be tired? Going to bed. Since when? <laughs> she's up all night. She's like, I'll be in lava lamp around 7 a.m. <sighs> Oh, nice, Connie. What's Connie doing? I'm not on the screen. Oh, she's going to be in California next week to film a video for Dwight Yoakam. Nice. I don't know who that is. Nice, nice, nice. I think this is almost, this is like a mini Christmas ornament. But I threw it in here because it was Disney and I didn't know where else to put it. This is actually a Disney pin in here. Uh-oh, Susan wants to, uh, no, never mind. Um, <laughs> she just wants to know where in California. All right, and then we have this little bugger here on a <clears throat> little keychain. And this unicorn. I don't know why he's got that hanging out. I think it's, oh, it might be like this little, you play this stupid ring toss game or something. 
Got a couple of Snoopy keychains in here. <laughs> Rummagerator. Kind of vibe me later. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. a magnet. I don't know. Just I'm putting it in here. It was in there. Yeah. Rosario. All right. And I think oh, this big guy. Anybody know who that is? It's a big key. But, you know, some of these might be good either for, like, you know, kids. Like, you know, if you got to give them a house key or something like that. And here's another Snoopy one. Connie says that she believes it's in the desert. Connie, I went to a, um, a concert in Italy <clears throat> that was, like, in the middle of nowhere, like, inside these like mountains and boulders all around us and there was i don't even know how they must have had generators like i don't even know how they got the live band and all the lights and everything in there it was incredible so these are a lot of duplicates of these same type of keychains but again if you have kids or you want to sell them to kids or do them even as gift bags or something with kids is a bunch of those little animals, little duckies, and I guess that's a doggy. And then again, all the Disney magnets and stuff like that. So that's what you get. Okay, Elizabeth, I got the glitter out. Yay. Tonight it's glitter. All right, Christy's in for 22. Anyone else? Let us know. Glitter guy showing up anytime soon. Elizabeth's crying. No crying at the auction, Elizabeth. Yeah, she wants the glitter lamp. I think it's Death Valley. Oh, it's hot there. Shrike is like, plug it in. Oh, but this one doesn't have doesn't take long. Yeah, to the glitter, out. the glitter one doesn't take any time at all. The glitter just goes. Picky Nikki's in for 25. And a couple of cool little different ones too as well. And some of the magnets are cool. This is and the Mickey keychain for anybody who likes Mickey 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 just tearing up no tear spillage okay Elizabeth California magnet vintage Mickey pin Okay. That could have been a, mi a mini pin or something with the hole at the top. That's vintage, too. And then you got the couple of Snoopy key rings one with the guitar. Actually, they're both with a guitar. Christy's in. Piggy Nicky's in for 35. I'm really rolling quarters now. All right, Sandy. A magical place to visit. And the pin. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know. Character. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Just like the unicorn guy. Who I think this is like some kind of game you have on your thing. Like you got to try to get it in his nose or something. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> In this little good night, Lindsay Ann. We'll see you in the morning. Christy's in for 42. I need to go check the ashtrays in the car for change. Be right back. <laughs> Who's saying that? Susan. Susan. I know, oh, Susan. I'm sorry. Susan has spent a lot. Susan, you have to learn how to list on eBay. <laughs> I 
and, and Heather too, Heather Blackwell, she's probably like, I'm staying out of that auction. I had enough today. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Poor Heather. I'm just like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> she wanted it all. All right, Christy's out. We're gonna call it to Picky Nikki. And Connie, you're going to have to send me pictures of that. I want to see that. That's going to be awesome. What's that? New name. Susan spends a lot. Oh, she said that they're going to put the drums on a big rock in the desert. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you. Picky Nikki. Thanks, Christy. I'm coming in. All right. I'm good. Yeah. 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to get up early tomorrow morning. Okay. I didn't get a chance. I forgot to do the thumbnail, but I'll do it. Well, I'll do it before you get to Lava Lamp so that you could drop it in Lava Lamp. I'll drop it in Lava Lamp. I got Lava Lamp going. Okay. I've got her going. I'm going to set her up right now, you guys. Marilyn and anybody else who was new, um, we're also going to, we have a lava lamp. We, listen to me, we have a lava That's lamp. Fine. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> we have a lava lamp channel. It's not we, as much. We share, we share. We, we have a trucker tea channel too. <laughs> See trucker tea coming in, you know who that is. Right. <laughs> um, it's just a channel. It runs all night long. It runs throughout the night and it runs until you know, the morning time. And it's just a channel to, um, sometimes people talk about reselling or sometimes they talk about going to the bathroom. <laughs> sometimes they talk about the size of their units, you know, storage <laughs> units. <laughs> so it's just, it's just a channel. It's, it's like, there's no rhyme or reason. You never know. We have a wonderful host. His name is Frank Perez. He brings popcorn and drinks and chocolates and grapes and yeah. And then we have this one who comes in and she like disrupts the whole everything. Yes, one rule. Yes, one rule. You can't talk about anyone who's not there. Yeah, you can talk about me though. I'm okay with that. And you can talk about me too. I'm okay with it too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't have that big, big, yeah, it's, it's fine. You, got, you, I'm, I'm you guys, <laughs> you can talk about me anytime you want. I'm fine with that, but that's kind of like the rule. Oh, and Ed, yes, we have Ed, Ed. <clears throat> Ed has been nominated for have, having the biggest unit ever. <laughs> so, yes, because I've seen it, <laughs> I've seen his unit, and it's really big. So anyway, so that's Lava Lamp Live. We're going to shut down here. Okay, Richard, tomorrow morning, not tomorrow night, honey. <laughs> tomorrow morning, 9.30 on T's channel. Please be subscribed. Yep, on T's channel. We're going to do coffee and we're going to do like maybe just a couple of hours. Yeah, so we so. have time to get some of our shipping and Donna can go get the rest of the crafters store. Yeah. So I'm hoping by the time Susan gets here, you know, my new assistant, hey John, good night, John, <laughs> I'll be off and I can set her up. And then I've got two truckloads of um, stuff to get. I got emails from a lot of you. If I did not respond to thank you to your email for the orders that I got for the hundred dollar dibble boxes, please email me again. If I wrote thank you as a response, that means I got your email. And I've written it down and I'm going to create a dibble box. Okay. And just so, a reminder too, these are the sheets, just so you guys know if you want to order them. Okay. All right. Susan. Susan. All right. All All right. Susan. We, won't wait for you. we won't wait for you. 
Don, I haven't received my invoice for Friday's plush win. No, honey, I didn't. I didn't invoice on Saturday because today's Sunday, right? Yes. I didn't invoice on Saturday because I got the call for all of the that big haul that I went and got two big trips. So, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. Ugh. So, tomorrow, tomorrow you guys are going to be getting, I can't wait for my Dibble box. Uh, Christopher got the, uh, the Dibble. Judith Daly needs a wrench. Um, Dibble of all Dibbles. Christopher ordered a $500 double box. So it's going to be challenging for Donna. It's going to be challenging for me, but I'll, I'll be fine. I'm going to try to send it yeah, out. Tomorrow. Hi honey. Um, Donna, I sent an email yesterday. Okay. Just, um, <clears throat> yes, it's not mine. It's not mine. Yes, I know, Sandy, and I don't acknowledge it at all. And just just for the newer people, just so you guys know, if we didn't send you an invoice yet, don't panic. Sometimes we run a day or two behind. We're on six, sometimes seven times a week, and sometimes twice a day like we were today. So sometimes you have to be a little patient. Um, nothing's gone out since Friday, so... No worries. You'll start getting some new invoices tomorrow. And if it takes till Tuesday for tonight's, you know, just be patient again. We'll yep. get them out. Yep. We're not uh, holding you guys responsible, but when we do send them, we do like to get paid as soon as possible. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Shepa Holly. Thank you for coming in. Yes. Boston, Boston, Boston is my baby. Yep my prints, my everything. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone coming in. We'll see you over at Lava Lamp Live. And I'm going to leave everyone with this.